What's up, guys? It's TechnoViking23, coming back with another episode of Let's Play Mega Man Legacy Collection. And again, we're working on Mega Man 2. Uh, last time we left off, we had taken out Metal Man, Flash Man, Bubble Man, and Air Man. So today we're going to take out the other four Robot Masters, hopefully just as easily as we did before. Now, I know I'm probably going to have some trouble on Heat Man and Quick Man. Those are always the two that gave me issues when I was a kid. So pretty sure we'll have a tough time with them. I remember Quick Man, this guy was just a bastard. I, I, I could never beat him without having to use at least one energy tank, and usually it was because I was not good enough to get through the first part of his stage, which had like the instant kill laser laser beams. I had to use Flash Man's power all the time. So hopefully we can we'll see if we've improved with age, but who knows. Alright, so we're going to take on Crash Man to start here. He's going to be the first guy we, we start with today. Then we're going to go on to Wood Man, Heat Man, and finish up with uh, Quick Man. And this is the actual order I used to play the game in before. So, kind of reliving the childhood a little bit here. And of course, we're going to use Metal Blades, because these things are just freaking overpowered as hell. One of the most overpowered weapons in all of video games. <laughs> we're the Metal Blades. Alright, I'm just going to... I remember the Crash Man stage was pretty vertical. A lot of the stages are side-scrolling. Crash Man was more of a vertical stage. And the metal blades come in real handy here because you can obviously shoot them in multiple directions. These guys are a pain in the ass, little hard hats. <laughs> they will almost always kill you, and it's like I could never avoid their freaking blast. So, but I was one of those kids with the Mega Man. I usually would just tank damage. And I didn't really care if I got hit by anybody. It's like as long as I'm not gonna die, I'll just go through and I'll take the hit. Normally this part, you would just sit on that thing and use the leaf shield and it would kill everybody, but... I'm actually gonna... I wanna... I'm trying to beat Crash Man before Woodman, because I wanna show you guys something. Something that a lot of people, at least back in the day, didn't know about. i show you guys one of my little... Little things I discovered on this game in my early days, because I used to play this game all the time after I got my parents to buy it for me. I originally got this, uh, first started with Mega Man 2. I didn't play the first Mega Man until years later and found out that it was freaking like 10 times harder than this one. So that's why I'm waiting to play that one for. Oh, you son of a. <laughs> that's why I'm waiting to play that one for a playthrough because I, I need to probably practice on that game a few times. Because uh, Mega Man, the first Mega Man, was just excruciatingly difficult. It was one of the most difficult Nintendo games um, alongside like Ninja Gaiden and uh, Battletoads, among some other games. But. Just a tough game. So I actually, but originally my first introduction to the series was Mega Man 2. I actually uh, played this game first before any of the others, and then Mega Man 3. I actually didn't play Mega Man, the original Mega Man, until after I had played um, Mega Man 3. So Mega Man 2 and 3 were my first two games in the series, and then the original Mega Man. Uh, but yeah, this was always a fun game. I don't know why they ever put that block there, right? Because it's not... you. Can't jump over there. There's nothing to grab, at least not that I know of. Same thing with here. There's like no point to go over there. But uh, I used to play this game just a ton. My parents initially let I rented this game at Blockbuster. Um, like I said in my last video with with uh, with uh, Mega Man Two, is I actually um, my parents used to <laughs> reward good behavior and good performance in school by letting me rent video games on the weekend and sometimes buying them for me if I did something particularly good, like get straight A's or something like that, so um, this was a game I actually rented at Blockbuster uh, with some allowance money, I believe, when I was like, uh, I can't remember what grade I was in. I was like six or seven years old at the time, so it's, it's how old I am, I'm dating myself again, but uh, <laughs> it was just funny. But yeah, so they would let me... Um, rent video games whenever I did something good. It was kind of like my reward, you know? I wasn't always allowed to play video games. And of course, back when I was a kid, a lot of the times, kids like to play outside. I'm going to go ahead and grab this energy tank, actually. And, uh, so I rented this at the Blockbuster Video, which was pretty funny, and at the time, that's dating myself, because that's back when Blockbuster used to actually sell video games. I'm trying to remember if I can use one of these to get back up there without having to go back down to the... Oh, nice. Okay, so if you go over to this ladder over here, you can actually get... I think there's a special item up here I can grab. Uh, extra life. Very cool. That was the one thing about Mega Man that kind of demanded extra playthroughs, is you had to kind of figure out how to get all of these different items and figure out how to get, get to each of these spots on the stage. 
because uh, each stage has got little hidden Easter eggs. And, well, not really Easter eggs, but you can see the, the, the power-ups are and things like that. Oh, these guys are screwing me up here. All right, so we're at Crash Man. Crash Man is a little bit of a pushover, if you know what to use. I remember... Oh, God, where was I? It was probably... I was actually in high school, and I remember my parents uh, at the time were getting ready to move. And they... <laughs> They were looking at this house, and the people who lived there were still there. Like, the realtor was taking us through the house. And we went upstairs, and the two kids, which were, they were probably like, I don't know, five or six years old at the time. And th this is when Super Nintendo was already out, Sega Genesis. And these two kids were actually playing Mega Man 2, and it was so funny because they were on Crash Man, and they couldn't figure out how to beat him. They must have died two or three times. And uh, I finally kind of, like, was like, hey, pss, pss, you know, I was like, use the Airman weapon, the tornadoes. They're like, what? They're like, no, that doesn't work. And I was like, no, use the Airman's weapon. And they so they used the Airman weapon, and they two-shot him, of course. And they're like, how'd you know that? It was like, they thought I was, like, the coolest kid ever. But I uh, just... So many stupid memories with this game. <laughs> I knew way too much about Mega Man uh, back when I was a kid. But I probably played through this one a, a couple hundred times. It's, uh... Like I said, one of those things where you, you go through and you, you basically try to figure stuff out. Uh, because each stage has got some areas um, that you can't get to unless you have certain power-ups or weapons from the other stages. Uh, Woodman was pretty straightforward. This stage was not really uh, really too difficult. Really no secret areas or anything here. And Woodman was always... Usually I played Woodman second because it was... I always played Metal Man first because I thought he was cool. Uh, just cool looking, so he was the first guy I'd always take on. And then it was usually either Flashman or Woodman, and Woodman I just kind of put two and two together, so I'm thinking, hmm, Metal Blades, this guy looks like a tree trunk, I could probably saw him with these blades, and of course that's what worked pretty well. But I'm going to show you guys something that a lot of people didn't know, and this is something I just randomly discovered when I was playing through uh, Mega Man 2 later on. Because I used to go through and just experiment with stuff, and I'd try different weapons on different guys, and, you know, because you've got the weapons you're supposed to actually use to fight a lot of these guys, and and um, I was always just curious. I'm like, maybe there's some different ones I haven't found out yet. Maybe there's some ones that they don't know about that the you know uh, the producers of these games always used to to put in these random uh, random things in these old Nintendo and Genesis games, like little challenges and things that you'd have to figure out on your own. And this was one of the ones I actually managed to find out. As soon as we get to the boss, I will show you guys my little secret, which probably isn't a secret now, but back in the 80s, I was a cool kid for figuring this out. <laughs> back in my day, as they all say. Really nothing too difficult in, in Woodman State. He was always one of the easier guys to do first, because there's really nothing too crazy here. You've just got these birds and... Those and those big robot dogs that shot fire out of their mouths were always the toughest part for me. So it's kind of sad at first, because like when you question your kid, I'm like, I had to kill the bunny rabbit. You know, that was kind of a, <laughs> a traumatizing moment for me and Mega Man too. <laughs> I mean, they shoot, they shoot like little rocket carrots at you. I mean, whoever came up with some of these games back in the day was just really. The creativity level, I think, is unfortunately something that's missing from a lot of our games. Now, these guys were kind of weird. You had to, like, stop, and they would jump over you. And I, it took me forever to figure that out. I used to always just run, like, face-first into those guys and get killed half the time. All right, so here's what I'm going to... Cool thing. Unless they've patched this, which, of course, that didn't exist back then. We're going to use Crash Man. And what Crash Man does, he shoots these little grenades that stick to walls, and they detonate. You, only, you don't really need these in too many spots. And you can see, they actually damage him through his leaf shield, which was, at the time, a lot of people didn't know. And you can see, you can basically just two-shot the guy with crash bombs, and then he's still stuck there with his leaf shield flying around. <laughs> and normally you have to jump over the leaf shield and then use metal blades on him or something else. You can actually use your normal weapon, too. But I was so excited when I found him. I'm like, I found another way to kill Woodman! <laughs> you know, like... <laughs> ah, such a nerd. But now you get the leaf shield, which gives you a little shield of made of leaves, which again, very creative, the way they came up with some of this stuff. And we'll, we'll use that later on in Dr. Wily's castle. A lot of the weapons you get from beating these guys, you actually don't use till later on. Alright, so we're gonna go on to Heat Man. I usually, like I said, save Quick Man for last, and I may die on some of these stages. I've been getting through these pretty unscathed so far, but Heat Man was always a little difficult. 
you've got some jumping puzzles. And there's also a section where you have to... Uh, actually, there's a section here that's kind of difficult, but I can skip it. So, And, of course, if you jump into fire, as with most games that came out on Nintendo, you will die. <laughs> but again, we're going to use our metal blades to our heart's content here. you got to watch these little guys, too, because... Extra life. Oh, see, I almost jumped. He would have knocked me right into the fire pit. So you gotta be careful here. There's a little bit of a time delay when they pop out of these things, but you gotta watch and then kinda time your jumps because these guys can really screw you over right here. <laughs> I'm trying to remember if I have to drop down or if I can make this jump straight up. I don't know, but I was gonna say I don't want. Oh! Now you do get a time period of immunity. You see there when you get hit, you're actually uh, kind of invulnerable for a second. But uh, that will not protect you from dying in the fire. <laughs> But again, Metal Blades here are your friend. It's kind of precarious with that power-up sitting there. Okay. Almost there. Alright, now here's some more fun. Like I said, these jumping puzzles, these get a little bit worse in Dr. Wily's castle, but... Then you got these little guys. See, when you get on their level, they speed up. It's like, as soon as you vanish, see, that was stupid. And you can't actually damage them, which was another annoying thing. Alright, this is... This guy, you gotta kind of let him do... Yeah, I failed that one pretty hard. <laughs> and then here we get the first little... You've got uh, the blocks that you see, they just randomly... This was one of the hallmarks of the Mega Man games that made these games. You just had to get the timing down. And it's like, as soon as you got on that one, yeah, you had to jump and then jump over. And yeah. There's one section of the stage that has those, and it's really, really hard, but we're going to actually skip it. Um, I'm going to show you guys another kind of hack that you can do. <laughs> guys don't knock you off. These guys are such a pain. Now see, here's what I was telling you guys earlier. If you have uh, Crash Ball, we saw some of these in Flashman stage, you can actually shoot them to his little thing and they'll blow up. You see they blew up the... You actually have to use those on a boss in Dr. Wily's castle, which is one of the more difficult boss fights that's in the game. Again, you can use it here, or you can just jump over. This is the tough one right here. <laughs> In case you forget the timing, you will you will die instantly. <laughs> but we'll just crash bomb that open just in case. I think we can actually walk, walk right through. Okay, perfect. All right, so now comes the really fun part. You've got you can start up on here and jump on these blocks. You'll see the blocks start appearing like almost instantly there. But one thing you can do if you've got it, if you've done the stage, you just pop your little jet booster here, your little uh, surfboard, whatever this is called, and I missed getting the extra life. Oops. And uh, that's it. You just let it go. Now, normally you have to go over that entire section jumping on those blocks, and uh, yeah, I probably should have done that just for authenticity, but I'm not... I just, uh, you know, that, that, was, that was what you did back in the day. You tried to figure out ways you could actually glitch the game and, like, use it to your advantage jumping over that guy. I'm actually excited to get to, like, Mega Man 3 or Mega Man 4 since you get a little bit more movement, uh, freedom. And here we are, Heat Man. His stage is actually harder than he is. Um, now for Heat Man, you're gonna use the Bubble. Bubble Man's weapon, which turns you gray. This is, like, one of two times you'll ever use this weapon in the game. <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous, really. But like I said, a lot of the weapons don't really have much of a use. And see, he's going to fire these little flaming blasts at you, and then he does this heat charge. You just got to stay away from him. And three bubbles, and he's dead. <laughs> Again, a lot of these guys are pushovers if you know the right weapon to use. And that was the cool thing at the time, of course, when the game first came out. You didn't really know all, this, all the little nuances, and kind of had to figure it out common sense-wise. Like, oh, bubble water works against heat, you know. Metal blades work against woodman, things like that. It was, uh... It's one of the cool things about games back in the day, too, is they required you to do a little bit more thinking. There was a lot less hand-holding. And, of course, things like YouTube didn't exist, so, you you know, nobody was going to play through the game and put all the gameplay and all the tips and tricks on online within a week of the game coming out. It's one of the things that... I think YouTube is pretty cool. Like, and obviously, I'm, I do YouTube, so I must think it's pretty neat. But at the same time... I hate it when a new game comes out, 
and you literally have like everybody posting how to's and tip videos like within 24 hours like that's the thing that drives me nuts with destiny a little bit like with this 2.0 patch that came out last week it's like there's you know they put it in the quest system and everybody's posting like 12 videos a day on oh how to get your subclass quest done really fast and it's like you're supposed to kind of wait to do that before like when the taken king actually comes out why do we all want to know how to do it before the content's even available you know it's just kind of annoying all right, so this is one of the harder stages in the game, at least for me. So we're going to waste that and get up there and grab that uh, extra life, because I may need it. Now, this stage has got some parts where there are these instant death laser beams, and sometimes I have to use Flashman's uh, time freeze weapon in order to get around those. And uh, you'll see that here in just a second. Uh, this really this part of the stage used to drive me insane. There's two parts, actually. The first part I think you can get through without using Flashman's power, but... You see these little things? If they if those touch you, you are dead. Like, you die instantly. There's no... There's no passing go, there's no collecting... You know, I went the wrong way. See, I could have got an energy tank and all that cool stuff, and I missed it. And that was, again, why you wanted to play through this game multiple times, because there were ways to access all kinds of things. These guys are kind of funny, they're like these giant, giant blow torches, and then when you kill them, the lights go off. I thought that was pretty cool. Ah, oh, crap, I forgot this part. Yeah, this is usually the part right here where I bite it. See, I'm so close, oh no! Yep, alright, we're gonna have to use, uh... See, I'm not good enough. <laughs> alright, let's see how many lives I have. I've got four lives. Okay, we might, we can try it again without using, using Flashman. And if I can't get it then, then I'll use Flashman's power up. And I can always come back out and farm farm guys for power, weapon power. There's a spot right before the boss room where you can actually kill this guy over and over and over again. And I think one of my is go right on that first part. I think it's Flashman. Yeah, Flashman is kind of fuchsia or purple. He, he wasn't real, real clear on what color he wanted to be as a robot. I think I went the wrong way again. Alright, see, we're gonna f pop our flash. Flash manpower. Okay, there we can grab a little bit extra on the way down. The problem with this was you could not turn it off, if I remember correctly, so you basically had to run the entire thing dry, even if you made it to the final, and I missed the extra life. And I think it runs out at the end, too. You have to kind of get through the last one without. Oh god, please don't die. Uh! <laughs> Alright, there we go. So now we've got to farm these guys. Try to get some power-ups for... Because Flashman actually... Oh, it vanished. Son of a bitch. <laughs> this guy was really hard to kill if you didn't have the right weapons. And, oh, I need that, I need that so bad. Please don't vanish. You know what, screw it. I'm just gonna grab... Oh, you know what? I think they changed it. Whenever you hit the pause screen, um, it, it disappears. That's not cool. <laughs> you guys nerfed it. That's not fair. Let's see if we kill this guy. Maybe he'll. Oh, that's not good. All right, all right don't don't vanish. All right. All right. I guess you just got to be quick. I don't want to die either. So. Ah, disappeared again. So you want to get flash your flashman power up to full because it really helps you uh, kill these guys faster. Oh, come on, man, drop the power up. And there's another interesting. This again, where you had to kind of do some thinking in the game because you were thinking, you know, quick man, he's quick, super speed is his power. Nice, there we go, that's perfect. One more of those should get me all the way to full. And, uh, so, you, it took a while to figure out, but it's like, oh, you make the connection, oh, if I stop time, maybe that, you know, weakens him a little bit. Oh, nice, two of them dropped, that's perfect. Okay, that should give us enough. Alright, so we got full power on our flash stopper. I'm gonna show you how this works here. Now, you know, I just wish they would have let you fire your gun while he was frozen, that would be so cool. But, unfortunately, you can't do that. So, he's gonna jump at you, we're gonna... We're gonna freeze time. And this is gonna take, I think, about half of his power. And then I believe 
Your regular weapon worked pretty good on him, but Airman can also damage him, especially since he likes to fly around like a little jerk face. And use his Zelda boomerangs on you. Let's see, use the Airman. That seems to get him pretty quick. Alright, so we did that with relatively little pain. I still can't get through this stage flawlessly. That's like, I see people speedrun this stage and they go through that laser section, like, perfectly, and it's like, I hate you. <laughs> I can't do that. So, I get a little jealous when I see that stuff. Alright, we got quick boomerangs. These are a pretty cool weapon. I like to shoot out a little line of boomerangs, although you have to wear the pink suit to do it, so that's kind of crappy. But Alright, well that is everybody uh, for this one. Just get my little... I'm going to write my password down real quick here, because I'm going to have to come back and finish this one up later. And this was one of the cool things about this game, was you actually got the little password system, so you could sit here and... <laughs> you, we used to What we used to do is, um, we used to actually draw a little grid on a piece of uh, loose leaf paper, because this is back when, you know, we were in school, and... So you'd draw a grid on the loose leaf paper, and then you would sit there and actually color in the little dots. It was pretty funny. Now, one of the games, I think it was Mega Man 3, they kind of threw it for a loop because they put in red and blue dots, so you had to remember which was which. And then I think one of my friends came up with a genius idea to use graph paper. We started just, we would make pages of just Mega Man password, password grids. It was pretty hilarious. Uh, the things we had to do back in the day before, you know all the social media websites and then eventually all the passwords got archived and people would share passwords like so you could get somebody's password for like full energy tanks and all this life and everything and it was, it was just pretty awesome all right so we're, i'll go ahead and te give you guys a teaser for next time see dr wiley and his crazy eyebrows I used to love it when he did that it's just so funny of course he's the mad scientist main villain in his ridiculous skull castle here with bones popping out everywhere So you got one, two, three, four, five stages here for his castle. All right, but we're not going to play through this right now, guys. I just wanted to show you the little kind of funny intro there. As you see, we got three energy tanks. We have all of our weapons. We've got four lives, so we'll be ready to go when we come back next time. We'll take on a few, a uh, couple of stage bosses, and take on Doctor Wily. So. Uh, once again, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this playthrough of Mega Man Legacy Collection. Again, this is Mega Man 2. We'll be moving on to the other Mega Man games once I get through this one. Uh, when I come back next time, I'm going to try to get through Dr. Wily's Castle and finish Mega Man 2. So hopefully we'll be able to do that uh, without too much trouble. So anyways, guys, that's going to do it for me. Uh, feel free to leave any comments or questions below. Let me know if you guys are playing this game as well, if you have this game and what you're enjoying about it. I'm personally loving playing through this game again. It's just been a lot of fun to revisit a very fun time of my childhood so really enjoy Mega Man it's a great great game series great games all overall so hope you guys enjoyed this hope you're having a great day and I will see you again next time